Um, the first thing I like to start with is if you're a Spice player and you've been in the program for three years or more, stand up. Three years or more, third season or more, stand up. Mom's right behind you. Alright. Alright, now if you've been in the program four, four or more years. It's your fourth year or more. Keep standing. Alright, now we'll go five. Five year players, stand up, put your hand up so I can see where you're at. Good? Alright, six years. Sorry, I gave you a Six, anyone six or more years? You don't have to clap, we'll, we'll get it down at the end. Seven, seven or more years. Uh oh. How about I just jump to nine years? No, eight years. Nine years? Ten years. Who's in their tenth year? Woo! There's three so drunk. There's no way that's older than that. And uh, Mary Kay Quaid is all. We have four girls that are in their tenth year on the program. What we want in this program is for the girls to stay with us year after year after year. So we appreciate all these girls that have stood up. Uh, we hope that that'll continue on as we move forward with the program. So let's give the girls a round of applause. Uh, we have a new MC this year, our Chris Mott, our longtime voice of the Spikes, has moved on, and I'd like to introduce our MC for this year. He's an IHSA Hall of Fame wrestling coach, and his name is John Javnikowski. John? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is going to be real quick. Because I'm going to turn the mic, mic back over to Mark in two seconds to give away some, or make some further announcements. I get to do the fun stuff, like trivia questions and handing out $50 gift cards. Who wants to win a $50 gift card? Spikes players. All right, what I need is one person from each team coming down here with the lowest number on your team. So if your number is zero on your team, you come down here if you're number one. Did the Spikes program start? <laughs> quiet in the audience, quiet in the audience, quiet in the audience. And I will give hints. You want a hint? Need a hint? Okay. This is a milestone year, so it's not just like seven years or 17 years. It's, it's a nice, here we go, here's a guess. 2003, 20-year anniversary. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. All right, there we go. You guys can go back up now. There we go, there we go. All right, same thing, same thing. Big numbers, 99 down. Roll your boat, girl. <laughs> Roll it. Organization. 
Bill ran the program for 10 years. Uh, his daughter is currently senior at Illinois State, so if you follow Illinois State softball, she's doing a great job. She's done a great job so far. She's having a great season, so make sure you follow her on Twitter. Follow him on Twitter. Coach Bill, is it Coach Bill on Twitter? Coach Chevy on Twitter, get all the updates for Kaylee. She also helps at our winter clinic. So, uh, Bill, thank you very much. And let's make sure we follow Kaylee here as she finishes out her college career. Thank you, Bill. Now, I'm just a few short months away from completing my time, not only as a coach, but also as a director of the program. And it goes a lot faster than you think. So for all you little eight years and 10 years, the time's gonna pass by really quick. Um, I've been very fortunate to coach 10 great teams, win well over 350 games, and during my time as director, I've, I've got to watch uh, 35 girls get committed to college programs, with 11 of those girls being on my current team, and two more to go in the near future. So, um, I've been very lucky, and very fortunate, and blessed. And trust me, I don't take any of it for granted. Um, Part of my, what I try to do as a coach, uh, just a few key points that I try to use when I lead my players and my teams. Uh, number one, lead with vision and confidence. Number two, make a full commitment to my team, my players, my parents. Um, uh, number three is be encouraging and positive. Never know what anyone's going through outside of our time together. I don't know what's going on at home school, so I never take any of that for granted. So I always try to treat my players the best I can. Number four is be relentless. I asked my girl. Ryan Torma and Mackenzie Davidson. Oh. I used to. I still dropped it. Shut up, Mom. <laughs> Mia, what a dole. And here we go with the players. Harder, better, faster, stronger. Number 47, Allison.
get started with number one, Eddie McCarty. Never know what's going to happen. 
Um, two years ago in St. Louis, Mia Corres made one of the most amazing diving catches over a center field fence against the Fusion at the St. Louis Showcase. One of the most amazing plays that I've ever seen. Um, it's moments like that where the coach of the other team was just like, their whole team was running out of the dugout thinking it was a home run, and the coach of the other team just could not, the, the look of exasperation on her face was amazing when, when uh, Mia made that play. Um, when we were 13 years, Jensen Kratz hits a walk-off double to beat uh, the Chicago White Sox Academy, who had a pitcher that threw a no-hitter against us the previous year, and the coach of that team uh, used to be a Spikes coach, Chris Vandegrand, for those who know. So it was kind of a nice, sweet victory for us. And it put us into the semifinals of the Queen of Diamonds tournament. Last year, our first tournament back, we, we had to win two games to win our first tournament uh, for the first time in a couple years as a team. Um, we had to double dip a really good team from Wasco. And that day, Kenzie Katz and Julia Hub, um, we had to win two games in a row. They gave up one run in 14 innings. Um, and it was just great to see how they led the team, the offense showed up, and my girls started this whole thing that they rode the boat thing. So, and then they carried that through for the rest of the summer. We ended up having a really good summer last year, but it all started with that moment where they were doing that. Um, all the rain outs, if you know me, with the exception of the last year, I get rained out more than anybody. Um, if I schedule six tournaments, three are gonna get rained out. That's just the way it goes. Um, and one last moment <clears throat> that I'd like to share that's probably the most important moment to me in all my years. Uh, when we were 11 we were playing our final tournament in Sandusky, Ohio, and we, uh, it was a semifinal game, and we were, it was a nine inning thriller, and we ended up losing in nine innings. Probably one of the most fun games I've ever had a chance to be a part of. Uh, Kenzie Gads through nine innings, she pitched the entire game, and May Jensen, they were outstanding defensively, offensively, um, and in that loss, just the way the kids felt at the end of it, um, that just kind of changed the culture of the team that I was about to have. Um, and that, that's just that moment just changed what we did as a team and how I coached. And then from there on out, you know, fortunately for me, uh, our team had a lot of success from 12U and even through now. And uh, it was that one moment where we were at our worst, not our worst, where our lowest point, that things really came together and we changed who we were. So you never know how things are gonna go. Um, make the experiences for yourself and for your teammates. They shape who you are and they stay with you for as long as you want. Make those memories positive. There's nothing worse than the memories where you're like, I don't like that person or I don't get along with that person. Find the good moments and live with those. Um, I talk about the rain, my rain outs, my rain curse. Fortunately, Coach Cassandra from 13 years has adopted, she's taken on that rain curse. And speaking of Cassandra, as I end my time here with the Wheeling Spikes, it's time to transition into a new director. And I'd like to introduce Coach Cassandra Dunn as the next Spike Director. Congratulations. All right, number two, number two. All right, 
<laughs> Dunk Sky in a spikes event, gotta love it. All right, here, oh, yeah, you can't kick the ball, it's not like major leagues. We got a bunch of, we got a bunch of, Lisa says there's a bunch of. Ruthless. All right, at number three, come on down. All right, now let's get started with the evening. A couple more thank yous to people who mean so much to the Spikes and to WAA overall. Uh, first, we want to recognize the WAA president, Dr. Larry Gentile. Where are you at? You can just raise your hand. Everybody give a round of applause for Dr. Larry. We've got the CEO of WAA, Lisa McClellan, right over there. WAA general manager, Scott Kelch. Where are you at, Scott? Director of Fields and Facilities, Tom Spica. Not here, not here. He's raking a field somewhere. Um, all right, he already got his due, but let's uh, hear it for Bill Chabal. Once again, former Spikes Director. All the headshots for high school players, Joy Gatz. WAA Travel Sports Administrator, Kelly Berlin. One of the co-directors of the Spikes. And WAA Marketing Director, Sam Salerno. Director of Player Development, Caitlin Glenn. Director of Performance Development, Chris Correz. And we've got one other person to thank, but I'm going to turn the mic over to Mr. Pasqualini a year late. And uh, for a reason you'll understand in a second. I forgot him. All right, last year. I forgot to thank Coach Mark here. <laughs> Uh, Coach Eric and I came into Spikes together at 8U. Um, we were supposed to be one team, and uh, we had 15 or 16 girls at the tryout, and Bill came over and said, hey, we're going to have two teams now. So here's Mark, you guys figure it out. So ever since then, we've been, we've been in the program together, and over the years, uh, we've gone from guys competing against each other at 8U uh, to he's become a really good friend of mine and a person that uh, it's been great for our program, so let's have a nice round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get started. We have a nice little contest for two of the Spice Girls. So if a non Spice Girl catches the ball, Throw it back to us and Coach Mark will throw it again. So we need two Spice Girls down here for the next contest, chance to win, gift card. Come on down, if you want it, come on down. And bring a teammate, you can pick anyone you want. Bring a teammate. All right, you get to bring a teammate also. Come on down, follow Coach Mark. <laughs> That looks like a bowman in those games, but I says, is that great work? Crazy girls, it's crazy team, Mosier. 12 you Mosier, coaches Jim Mosier, Mike Dobrilla, and Derek Ridge. Number 11, Melissa Ridge. 
number nine, Katarina Strand. Number eight, Nora Oates. And number 54, Lily Number 78. 
How's that shoulder? How's that shoulder?
Put that on. Right here, first, you Richmond, Olivia Baker, number two, and coach Mikey Christina. Coaches, 